What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass data from a parent component to a child component in Angular 14. And I've got an Angular application open here, so I'm going to go to input. And what we have here is we have our parent and child input, our components right here. In our parent component, we've got three buttons, laptop, car, and skyline. And what I want to do is um, display an image on my child component, depending on which button I click here. So if I click laptop, I want to show a laptop. If I click car, show a car, and skyline, we're going to show that skyline. So let's see how we can go about implementing this. Okay, so I'm using Visual Studio Code, and what I've got is I've got a parent component and a child component. So I'm going to start in parent component.ts. So essentially what we need is we need a string. So I'm going to call that image to display, and I'm just going to set that equal to an empty string. So what we're going to use this for is we're going to uh, provide the path to our image, which I store in my assets. So under assets, and I create an image folder in there. And we're going to get the path to the image. And we're going to add that to our source attribute on our image tag in our child component when we get there. So I need my variable there. And now I need to populate that. Well, we're going to have three buttons on the parent component. So let me go ahead and I'm going to add the following method to handle our uh, button click event. So we're going to pass in a string. So if we select the laptop button, we're going to pass a uh, laptop to this. You know, we have a switch statement here. If we click the car button, we're going to pass a car and the skyline is going to be Dubai. So it's just going to go and get this path to our image, uh, put it into our image to display, and then that's going to get passed to the input that we create on our child component. So let's go over to the HTML for the parent component, and I'm going to replace this with uh, the following. So what we have here is let me just format that. So we just have a bootstrap container with two rows and so a label and our three buttons. So here we are, our click event where we're calling our show child and passing our method. And then down here in the second row, we're actually adding the uh, app selector for our child component. And this just tells me that I'm going to pass this to um, the value of this right here, image to display, I'm going to pass that to the input on our child component, which we're going to create right now. So let me give you a second to take a look at that and catch up. And I will be posting this on my GitHub page as well. And I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, so now let's go to our child component. And the first thing I'm, I'm going to need, well, the only thing I'm really going to need here is an input. So I'm going to use an input, let's call it input decorator. So input, and if you watch our import statement at the top, it's going to add input to our Angular core imports. So, so I need uh, parentheses, and I'm just going to call that item, and I'm going to set that equal to an empty string. Oops. Okay, and you see we it added our input for us. That's all I need to do in here. And then in my child component, I just need to replace that with an image tag. So image source equals, I'm going to use interpolation here and pass my item into the double curly braces. And that's all we need to do. I'm going to hit control K and then S to save all. And now we can go back and take a look at our parent, I'm going to click laptop, there's our laptop, there's our car, and there's our skyline. So I just want to take you back in, right, and we'll go through it one more time. So essentially, we just, we have, 
a parent component, we've embedded our child component within our parent component. We've added an item to pass to, you know, this is going to represent the data that we pass to our child component from the parent. And that's going to go to our input. And we have a function to handle our click events and populate our string. And then we pass that to our item input. And finally, we just put that into our source attribute for our images. Let me go back to our app. And so that's how easy it is to um, pass data from the parent to child using Angular. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Add any comments that you might have, and I will see you next time.